In this question, um, we need to be able to understand pseudocode and complete the trace table. So it's quite likely that a question like this will come up in the exam. Never met anyone who enjoys this type of question, but once you've got it, they are pretty easy. So stick with it and you'll be able to pick this up um, nice and quickly, I hope. So it's worth reading the question carefully. We've got an algorithm here in pseudocode. So remember, pseudocode is not designed to be written and you press run and the computer runs it. It's designed um, to be written for programmers, so people like you and me, um, who can read it and then understand how the algorithm works, the step-by-step -step process to solve that problem. So we've got an array called passengers here, a list or an array. Um, and in here, we've got different numbers. And these numbers represent the number of people that get on or off a train. So at the first station, 100 people get on. Next station, 20 people get off. The next station, 70 get on. Um, and so and so. And our algorithm, it says in the question, determines how many carriages we need um, to house all of those people. So to complete our trace table down here, um, I'm just going to uh, move this arrow uh, whenever I talk about a line so that um, I know my cursor on my screen is quite hard to see and we haven't got line numbers. So I'll try and move this um, next to a line if I'm talking about it. So first of all, we've got our list. We've got a variable called passengers and we're storing this array into passengers. Um, notice that passengers isn't included in our trace table. A trace table basically lets you step through your program one line at a time and keep track of the contents of each variable. Then we've got carriages is equal to zero. Um, so that is what um, gives us a zero down in our table for carriages. Um, then we've got variable total is set to zero. Um, so that's down here. Uh, and then the max, presumably maximum is zero and index, which is probably gonna be used for counting is set to one. So these are our initial values. We've got these down here. Um, let's see what happens next. So first of all, while index is less than or equal to five, well, index is less than or equal to five, it's one. So let's move on. The total is equal to what the total was plus the passengers at index. So index is one. So pseudocode array indexing starts at one. So passengers index, if index is one, means the first item in passengers, which is 100. So total, which was zero, um, gets added to 100 and then saved into total. So we've got zero plus 100. Um, so total becomes 100. So let's put that in here if we can. There we go. Um, right, next, if total is more than max, well, total is 100, max is zero. So yeah, we need to do this if statement. Max is set to total. Okay, so max gets set to total, which is 100. All right, then we can end this if statement and move on. Index is set to index plus one. Well, index is currently one. We'll set it to index plus one, which is two. Um, okay, then we've come across an end while. So we go back to the beginning while and reevaluate this condition. So is index less than or equal to five? Well, it's currently two. Two is less than or equal to five. So let's go around again. Okay, total is total plus passengers at index. Index is two. We look up our second value, which is minus 20. So we've got passengers two, which is minus 20. Total, which is 100. So 100 plus minus 20. So 100 minus 20 equals 80. That gets saved into 20. Okay, so total becomes 80. 100 minus 20. Um, if total is more than max, um, well, total's 80, max is 100, so we don't do this if statement. Index equals to index plus 1, well, we can do that, so index becomes 3. Okay, you should have hopefully got the hang of it, but we'll keep on going to finish our trace table. Back to our while loop. Is index less than or equal to 5? Yes, it is. It's currently 3, so we need to go around again. Okay, what is the third item in this list? Um, it's 70. So total, which is 80, plus the third item in the list of called passengers, which is 70. 80 plus 70 is 150. That gets saved into total. 
Okay, so in total we put 150 in here. Is total bigger than max? Um, well, total is currently 150, max is currently 100. Um, so yes, we've got to do this if statement. And then max is, is set to the new total. So max is 150. And you can stop watching this video now if you've got the hang of it, but we'll keep on going. Okay, index is index plus one. All right, okay, so index is currently three. We'll set it to four. Um, and, oh, help, what have I done? Control Z, sorry about that. I had to tell you to stop watching the video. Um, let's get this arrow. Okay, back we go to the while loop. Is index less than or equal to five? Yes, it is. So the fourth item in our list, one, two, three, four, is minus 50. So passengers at number four is minus 50. Added on to our total, which is 150, gives us our new total, which is going to be 100 minus 50 is 50. Um, so total becomes 50. Uh, no, sorry, 100, because it's 100 minus 50. Uh, is the total bigger than max? No, it's not, so we ignore this. Index is equal to index plus one, so we increment index, that goes to five. Okay, here we go, last time around the loop. Is index less than or equal to five? Yes, it is. So we look at the fifth item in our list, one, two, three, four, five, which is minus 100. Um, so we've got total plus minus 100, Total is currently 100, um, so if we add minus 100 to that, then we're going to get 0. Um, uh, is the total greater than the max? Um, let's have a look. Maximum is 150, total is 0, so we don't do the if statement. And we do index equals index plus 1. So index becomes 6. Um, and then this time, when we go to end while, we have a look and see, is index less than or equal to 5? Well, no, it's not. It's 6. So we say carriages, that's this column here, our final variable to use, is set to max divided by 50. So max is 150. 150 divided by 50 is 3. So in here, sorry, I know it's not lined up perfectly, but it'll do. Um, uh, oops, sorry, wrong column carriages um, is set to three okay so i hope that makes sense a trace table um, just gets you to go through line by line on an algorithm help um, and write down the contents of each variable at each stage so as long as you're able to understand the pseudocode step by step through it logically and write down the values you should be able to get full marks